Welcome to Dano Crypto. On this channel, I show you guys how to make simple, effective, and easy moves in the altcoin ecosystem. So I want you to smash up the likes. I want you to hit the subscribe button. I want you to watch this video until the very, very end so you can see what my top five altcoin picks are for this year. And it was hard to pick these five, but I think these are some strong picks here. There are a couple that I would for sure have in this five, along with these five as well, and they could be interchanged. But these are the ones that I'm feeling right now. So we're going to talk about them, and let's get right into the video, guys. Again, smash up the likes, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know what your top five picks are. I'm going to let you know what mine are right now. So my first pick, Litecoin. The halving is in 30 days. We've had two major all-time highs, one at $300, uh, $3, uh, $360, and uh, $360, and we had uh, another one at $347, and we are sitting at $106 right now. And I think we are seeing some uh, really good community strength on Litecoin. Litecoin is actually trending right now on Twitter. We have just a lot of good uh, price action and volume right now on Litecoin. As you can see, uh, the highest volume right now is on Binance at 152 uh, million right there. And so Litecoin is kind of like referred to as the silver of the Bitcoin gold uh, reserve standard and um, if you uh, are familiar with Litecoin it has the same proof of of work consensus and has a limited supply and has a four-year having cycle where the um, where the rewards um, and are cut in half for the for the mining so that is my first pick is Litecoin so my second pick is cardano so cardano i believe is the most decentralized uh cryptocurrency network that exists the founder charles hoskinson is the co-founder of ethereum and in this um in this cryptocurrency which is uh built by his company iohk along with his team of developers um it is considered uh one of the strongest communities it has one of the highest um a number of coins staked out of any uh, blockchain where almost 80% of the total supply is staked. And so if you think about it, you, you, we have a lot of long-term believers in Cardano and the community is very strong. Uh, we've seen it's uh, two different all-time highs at $2.02. And, .02, and then we saw one at, that hit about close to $3 at $2.95. And now we're sitting at 30 cents. And so this, you would be looking at a, at a clean, you know, 4, four, uh, four X there, uh, or even more. Sometimes it's hard to uh, calculate that through 30 cents up to, up to that $3. And so with that, uh, Cardano has smart contracts. You can uh, uh, interact in this ecosystem if you have a Cardano wallet and you can connect into decentralized exchanges. You can buy NFTs. It's a really amazing altcoin that has utility. And there's a lot of uh, things in their roadmaps that they've accomplished and they are continuing to do. So that is my second pick. Third pick, Chainlink. So with Chainlink, Chainlink has the most partnerships out of all of the cryptocurrency projects. They are the oracle that provides the off-chain data for pricing, price indexing for different uh, exchanges, um, any kind of off-chain data that needs to be relayed through uh, cross-chain. Uh, Chainlink is being used, so they have a, a lot of different um, API usages um, that you can implement and this is with uh, even, you know, things like it could be, you know, with the weather. I mean, it could be all kinds of things. So Chainlink has a lot of use case. Um, it has seen uh, two different major all-time highs, the one being at $50. We saw uh, that was the highest that it got was at $50 Chainlink. And now we are seeing, uh, we saw another uh, close where we got to $35. And then now it is sitting, and it's been 
uh, chopping sideways from from eight dollars uh, from between the eight dollar and six dollar range since uh, you know uh, uh, April of of last year. So this is definitely a good pick to have in your bag. Uh, what's cool with Chainlink is that there's tons of contracts and uh, different um, chains that you can have it on. I mean, it's on every single chain. So it's it's really easy to be able to uh, bridge and and buy it on whatever exchange or whatever um, contract and network you'd like to hold it on. And so, you know, I have some on Ethereum, I have some on Polygon, you know, so it's it's really it's really easy and interoperable that way to be able to own some chain links. So that is my third pick. So my uh, fourth pick is Phantom. So Phantom, I haven't really talked about a lot, but I actually was really diving into the Phantom ecosystem a lot last year and the year prior, uh, 2021 and 2022. Uh, it is very similar to Polygon in terms of it, its in a, uh, interaction as being a layer two solution for Ethereum. And um, I think that uh, with uh, uh, spooky, we have a spooky swap. Uh, we have all these different uh, dexes that that work very well and that have built up in liquidity with the ecosystems. Um, you can basically uh, a phantom is a nice bridge. Uh, you can do all the similar things you can, uh, kind of like Polygon. I, I compare it very, very closely. Uh, with polygon um i think that the you know with the market cap the market cap is super low you know it's at 1 billion right now but it was all the way as high as 7 billion and 8 billion in the bull market so i think with uh more narratives being with uh the layer twos getting liquidity obviously when when all the when the when the bull market really truly hits i think phantom is actually going to catch you know some more uh, some more trend and uh, we'll see more about phantom you know george cryptozoros george was talking about phantom a lot and um, that's actually you know how i found out about phantom uh or, you know a couple of years ago him talking about it and and i actually enjoy being in the ecosystem you know i think one of the things uh is if it's easy to use and it is fast but it's also not having any uh, complications in terms of uh, usage, then yeah, it could be something to get into. And also just with these, you know, with the bull market prices here, you can see that at it being at 1 billion, even it going to 4 billion, hitting that halfway point of getting close to its all time high at 31 cents, we could see definitely um, some price action and around this, uh, you know, two, three dollar range at 30 cents. So if you think about, you know, this was kind of like same pricing as, you know, kind of what Cardano was, uh, you know, uh, getting close to there at that same uh, time frame, 32 cents. All right. So Phantom, that's fourth pick. All right. So we now we have number five. So number five is Stacks. So I found out about Stacks just last year, and it is a layer two solution for Bitcoin. So it's like its own uh, consensus layer that is a proof of um, of. Uh, I have to look at the about. It was a proof of proof of transfer consensus. So, which is a clarity language enabling it to read from Bitcoin at any time so basically using all transactions on the stacks layer are automatically hashed and settled on bitcoin layer one stacks uh blocks are secured by 100 percent bitcoin hash power in order to reorder stacks blocks transactions an attacker would have to reorganize a bitcoin so i think it's really interesting uh you know stacks is a bitcoin layer for smart contracts and enables smart contracts and decentralized applications to use bitcoin as an asset and settlement transaction on Bitcoin blockchain. So I think with the narrative of different uh, settlement layers that can use Bitcoin as a settlement layer to and use the Bitcoin network for for strength of something like this, like Stacks. So when we see the bull market hitting again, then we can start seeing these prices of going over to uh you know over two dollars, three dollars. It's sitting at seventy two cents right now. We saw that right when we were getting the narrative of Bitcoin being used 
for different things like NFTs, like the BRC20s, the BRC721s, uh, you know, inscribing, ordinals, those things like that. That's when we saw that price movement. So when we see that uh, narrative going again, we're going to see these movements on these altcoins. So I would definitely check out these altcoins. You got Litecoin, Cardano, Chainlink, Phantom, and Stacks. Those are my top five picks for this year. And right now, just to give you guys an update on my Bitcoin trade here, we are sitting at 34% at $56 in profit. And this has been re, uh, re-rinsed and uh, started with $100. And now we are sitting at $222. We got in at uh, below 30,900 initially, and then we sold at a stop loss when we started seeing it break down a little bit right here. And then we bought back in right here, and you can see here, boom, boom, boom. And then now we're sitting at 31,000. We broke that initial uh, um, resistance right here, which was at 31.2. We went above 31. We're tr- we were trying to hit that level. So now we're going back down. So, uh, you just got to follow Bitcoin. You got to see here, you look at my chart here, we can see, um, we got some different, uh, support levels here that, that went back up. But then also you can see all of the different resistance points here where we broke back down. And you can see how each time we've hit here, 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 we broke back down. So we're just trying to see if we can break those levels again, if we can really hold and sustain above that 31.4. You can see that candle closed at 31.253. And so it's just like, man, right when it hits there, it just wants to go back down. So what is going on? I don't know. What is Bitcoin going to do? No one really knows, guys. Honestly, no one knows. The charts sometimes can tell you. It can give you some. If it can give you some insight, but man, and now because we have all of these different events that are catalysts for Bitcoin price movement, it might be just an influx all of a sudden when we see approval news of these ETFs. So, with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Hit the like button smash the like button, hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. And I hope you guys liked my top five altcoin picks. In the comments, let me know what altcoins you are buying and let me know what your top five picks are. All right, I will see you guys, gals, aliens, and DJ freaks in the next video. Bye-bye.